Boom. If you get picked, you get to be Murphy. Uh, all you have to do is vote. Oh, this person is a really good cook. Okay, finally we'll have a chef. The person's also an incredible melee fighter. Interesting. I already like this person a lot. They're a brawler, so they don't like having a ranged weapon. However, they do have a really good melee hit chance. This person does not like having bionic body parts. That's a shame. And this person is too smart, so they learn very quickly, although they break faster too, mentally. Set up their priorities. God, really? Is everyone the same skill at a doctor? We really need a proper doctor. Okay. No one else cook. You're the full-time chef. God, I'm happy we finally have a goddamn chef. We can up the priority on uh, researching again. I'm not going to instantly give you the name because you can't see the polls. Rural Medinosaur. Because we've got 26 people here and that wouldn't be fair to the other 25. Alright, colonists need bed. Um, the shame... Uh, the bad thing about giving separate bedrooms to everyone like this and having the bedrooms be so big, like these spacious rooms, great for their sanity, uh, difficult to find room for all of it. And, uh, have a temporary bed in there for now. Unfortunately, we do not need a vomitorium. We have plenty of vomit as is. Okay, we have a lot of steel stockpiled now. That's good. We can start getting our security up a little bit. Have sympathy for mobile users. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Trade ship, exotic goods trader. Yeah. Not that good unless you're rich and you can buy bionic body parts. All right, so the commissar does not have a weapon once again. I need to go get, get you to pick one up. Um, hmm, we don't really have much to pick from. I guess you'll just take the Uzi for now. We can also have a proper stockpile back here. No food, no corpse, nothing rotten. Alright, we're gonna set up another few growing zones. Now that we have more people to take care of it. I want one for medicine. Usually I like to do that right away, but I honestly forgot this time. We're actually gonna take down those sandbags. We're also going to have to cut more wood. Uh, cutting wood is something we have to do very often in this colony, it feels like. Okay, the, the silver is being stockpiled, or the silver, the steel is being stockpiled very quickly. We need, um, hmm, what do we need actually? We don't really have much use of that building at the moment until we get more research done. Oh, right, uh, that's what we need, actually. We need a power conduit right there. We've got the steel for it. Power conduits are very inexpensive for steel. Good thing we're getting all the steel, too, now that we're getting more turrets up. Proving our defenses, because pirates could attack at any moment. And we want to be ready for that. Perfect. 
It is going well, actually. We have a lot of things to haul here, though. Because that's slowing us uh, down in movement. I forgot we still need another grave, actually. Uh, we've had a body out there for a while. And we can get that. Which will require even more wood. What would you do if you got swatted? See, that seems like a really stupid question to me, because what answer could you possibly give? You cooperate with the police. Like, there, there is no answer you could give. I would cooperate with them, and then later, when things have calmed down and they, they ask, like, what's going on, I explain to them what swatting is. But here's the thing, where I live in Canada, it's um, a lot more sane in terms of like the police force, they research things more. You see, in the United States, uh, swatting is quite big because in the United States, it's, it's a normal thing of if you get these fake calls, they immediately rush in guns blazing. Um, even under threat of something like that in Canada, um, a police officer is not allowed to point a gun unless they intend to shoot. So no gun will be pointed at me. In fact, what they will likely do is just knock on the door and talk to me reasonably. And I would simply, they would simply explain to me like we had this call and everything. And then I would let them in and we would sit down and we'd talk about it. Uh, the police are here are actually quite reasonable. It's out the west coast of Canada where they're insane. But it looks like we have people dropping in to besiege us, so we're going to have to take care of that. Oh, right, I totally forgot I still have that getaway, uh, that um, whatever it's called going. I need, to get, I need to do that real quick. Stop and pick winner, and our winner is Doug. We got Doug bot. So Murphy, Murphy the chef, you're going to be making a lot of haggis. Moderator Doug bot. Oops, did I unpause right before I went out? I did, okay. Hide that, reset, there we go. Just had to make sure the pole thing was gone now that it's finished. Happy we got that turret up though. Although I think they're gonna besiege us so we're probably gonna want to aggro them and then maybe fall back. Hold on, let me catch up with the chat a little bit. Big messages coming through. Uh, is it possible to create a wall off of some kind? Yes, it's a lot easier to do on more mountainous areas um, where you can kind of work along with like rocks here. Like walling off this is not so bad. Just a wall here, a wall here, maybe leave a little bit of opening to tunnel them through into turrets, stuff like that. But with how open this is, it's largely just going to be uh, wall, 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 <laughs> wall, wall. Like it's going to be rough. In fact, I, I'll probably have to wall around that lake because people could walk through the lake uh, to get around a wall. All right, let me catch up. If you pick something, you simply because you can't enter a getaway, assuming you'd win, enter probably like 20 other people uh, wanting to call me in the name. Uh, therefore, if you pick you with the inability to get away, greater chance because you can't enter. Yeah, basically my reason for not immediately picking you next if you can't enter it because you're on mobile is you not being able to enter on mobile is unfair to you being one person. But if I were to just instantly pick you next, it would be unfair to every person watching who's not on mobile. And a lot more people are watching not on mobile. And because it's not a huge deal and I don't really need to find a workaround for it, instead I can kind of just say... Uh, I, can, I can kind of rule of thumb it and just say... I'm gonna let the vote go for most of the people and, like, vote that way. And then if we've had quite a few votes in a row and you're still around watching and you're, you're here and everything, then I'll just put you in automatically as the next one because the chances of you being picked are eh, decently okay and otherwise you wouldn't have a chance. So we get two more people. I'll, I'll put it this way. If we get two more people to join us, that second guy is going to be you. Because I, I think that would be decently fair. It's about as fair as you can make it just kind of flying by the seat of your pants at least. Um, yeah, people are talking about swatting a little bit. Um, what are the latest things you've heard, uh, been hearing about the crap like Machinima? Uh, they do a fucking crap thing every week. I can't keep track. They suck. Machinima sucks. 
Um, uh, what was that about swatting? Uh, only thing that I think is hacking uh, would be you getting swatted. I mean, government swatted. Hacking swatted. I have no idea what you're trying to say there. I'm sorry. That was confusing. All right, uh, I'm going to be back in maybe two minutes. Uh, so have fun looking at my empty chair. Oh yeah, uh, Archriven, you can be put on the same list if you're on mobile. Yeah. Uh, chat, just let me know, uh, for anyone who's on mobile, let me know, um, let me know what your username is and that you're on mobile and that you want to have your name in the game. And I'll try and keep it on some kind of mental list for every few times we get a vote going that I'll just put you in. I have returned. I'm just pouring a slight bit more of tea that's left in the kettle here. And I'm back. Uh, well, I was gone for those two minutes, by the way. I thought of a better solution to the mobile thing. Uh, Doug, are you still here in the chat? Let me just check real quick. Uh, Doug is still here. Sweet. Uh, Doug, do me a favor. Uh, if you're going to be here for long, just get a Word document and write down a list of all the people who said that they're on mobile and want to be in. And then next time I say pick a mobile person, you can just use a random number generator to pick one in between one and however many. <clears throat> so I'm back now. Oh, right, right. We're about to get attacked. Um... So are they setting up a base? I think they are. Okay. Uh, that's the whole colony. Yep, they are. Okay. So what we want to do here... Oh, Doug has no weapon. Right. Right, he's a brawler, so I guess it's decent that he... Uh, I guess it's okay, then. Okay, we don't really have any good cover yet, but we got them... Ouch. Uh, where'd you get shot? Stomach. But at least we're here before they have, uh... Sandbags set up. Still don't have a shirt for casking. Oh, that's a Molotov. <sighs> Shot in the foot, too. I'll slow you down. We have visitors, too.
Don't know where. Be nice if they showed up right here. Oh, Chaos King's been shot a lot. I'm actually gonna have him go back and rest. Oh, we've already killed one person. King just took a shot. Where? Left kidney. I thought it was Diphonus's job to get shot in the kidneys. He's really good at that. He's trying to put out the fire. Why? Why are they cons Why are they doing that? Just well, I'm shooting them up now. I'm not gonna last doing that. Yet they're assaulting the colony now. Really, that's the only one who's not fleeing. I don't think you're gonna last. Okay, King is getting really hurt. Okay. Yeah. Um, King, you're gonna go back. There. Go capture that person, Doug. Well, they didn't even really get to set up yet. Nice. Yeah, save that person. He caught on fire. Grab him. There. We want to definitely try and get another colonist. Can't really lure him to the turrets. Once they begin the assault, there's only one person there, so what's the point? I just run away and get shot a bunch in the process. Okay, we really want to patch people up before they start uh, getting infected wounds. So you guys eat. Are you not set to doctor? Everyone's set to doctor. Okay, you're gonna treat him. Okay, whatever. As long as someone treats him. He was shot quite a bit. Alright, Doug, we actually have a proper bed for you now. If you use that. Alright, so you, uh, no brain damage, so I'm gonna have you join us. train you can yeah take care of our people first king took a lot of shots we have such little medical supplies yeah not gonna go well in the surgery if you're trying to fix up their wounds without medical supplies okay you can get out of bed for someone else to get in as long as you're not bleeding you can work all right we don't need that rose garden anymore We can relocate that someday. Alright, Atlas, you took one bullet, right? Yeah, in the leg. Alright, I think everyone's patched up. Yep, no one's bleeding, at least. Good. That went uh, relatively well. We took a few too many bullets for my liking, but no one was killed, which is nice. We can also go ahead and get a standing lamp in there because it's so dark. Yeah, everyone's set to, um, to uh, highest priority doctoring because no one is better at doctoring than anyone else, so it doesn't matter. We have no proper doctors, which really sucks. At least everyone has very nice big beds to sleep in. Have Oo played as an organ dealer in this game, Madurai? Well, not only did you use Oo, but you didn't put a question mark in. Um, but yes, I have before sold organs. It's quite bad for your colony's happiness. I don't think anyone has a passion for doctoring, that's the problem. Oh, where's doctoring? Medicine. One person has an incredibly slight passion for medicine, that's not worth it.
Is this person conscious yet? Shot off the second right toe. And actually, that slightly slows them down more than I thought it would. That's That slows you down as much as a knee injury. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you should go dump that rotting body. No scars on some of these people. Nice. You should probably clean up the blood in here. It's most of the blood cleaned up. Still vomit all over, because our person who is in charge of cleaning sucks. Who's in charge of cleaning again? Isn't someone with high cleaning priority? Mordening, mining... Okay, well, they're also probably hauling. Chaos King's probably too busy hauling to be, uh, cleaning too much. Local tortoise has gone mad. I goddamn hate these things! Alright, Doug, you're a melee fighter. Do we have any proper melee weapons? We have a- we have, like, a club you could pick up. Okay, there, you got a fucking Uzi. Kill it. Kill it. It's just a turtle. <laughs> it's like a zombie movie. Fucking finally. Oh my god. Okay, melee range. Finish it off. Oh my god, this thing. There, we killed it. Cool. Who's our hunter again? Uh, it's Atlas. I don't want you hunting with an Uzi. Um, we have no rifle. Isn't there a good pistol? Yeah, take the good pistol. That's more accurate. You can hunt with a pistol. God damn it. <laughs> I guess it would be hard to hit a cobra, to be fair. Uh, our food situation's actually really, really good. Why do beds come in twos now? Uh, they al You've always had the ability to make royal beds. I've just been choosing to make royal beds this time. Oh, we got some potatoes. All right, I forgot to change this. I didn't even want to grow potatoes here. I wanted to grow uh, herbal medicine. There we go. Now I've got a set for herbal medicine. Are you kidding me? Pirates, they want to besiege. Already? We just fought some. Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Get everyone moving. Wish we had more rifles. We need longer range weapons for this. Already fighting. Pump shotgun, they're not even trying to defend themselves. Do any of them have long ranged weapons? Uh, well, one of them. Why are they putting a sandbag there? Raven there has a survival rifle, which is quite good with long ranged. Oh, come on, just hit! Oh, we got a headshot on lips. He's got a helmet, though. Oh, wow, he's got a nasty wound to the jaw. Oh, where, where did they spawn? Over there? They they might be moving to help us? Doubtful. One's got a shotgun and one's got a pistol. Looks like they're just walking around. Yeah, don't let them set up that sandbag, because that will actually protect them. Alright, we're gonna advance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're getting aggressive now. They didn't like us getting closer. Okay, don't don't fuck with Decker there. He's his name turned blue, he's running. We don't need to worry about him right now. He's not dangerous. Let's all worry about that guy. He's got a pump shotgun and he's close. I also really okay. Actually, priority is the guy with the Molotovs with no cover. You gotta back off.
Yeah. Sneak in that person while they're, uh, that person's their crazy ranged person. I'm gonna send in Doug and Kimmo to go beat the shit out of that one. Ah, oh, God, that tree's in the way or else I just walk around. Okay, that tree's your cover. Oh my god, is that person gonna throw a Molotov at, at that person? Oh my god. Idiot. Okay. Well, this gives me an opening to get closer. Shit, Kimma just took a shotgun blast to the lung. Kimma might not be going much longer. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Alright, we're tying them up in melee. Good, we knocked down the insane one. They're assaulting the colony. Oh, are they? Alright, go grab that person's rifle. Fucker. Doug, go get that person in melee. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I think we did it. Okay, we're taking uh, Raven back. We're gonna have another person in the colony. And Sosa. And Doug, uh, strip the ones with the armor. And just wear both of those so you can take them both back with you. Uh, you'll be unhappy if you even pick up the gun. All right, everyone walks back. Poor mood. I wonder why. Alright, uh, we need some medical treatment going on. I can tell you that much. We're actually going to make a few more beds for temporary medical beds. So multiple people can lay down and rest at once. Because we did take some shotgun blasts in that fight. That person lost an arm. Ow. And Doug, you can you can take off the helmet. You have no pants, Doug. I wasn't aware. Had to get you some pants. In fact, there's some superior pants right over there. Ah, you're barely even hurt, Doug. Goddamn, terrible mood. Okay, Chaos King, you need to get a bed built. Crash pod. Ah, shit. We can get that person. It's a space refugee too, so we don't even need to save them. We can actually have them join us. King, you're not hurt at all. Capture. Ah, shit. We're getting a lot of people quickly. Which means we actually want to up this to 20 meals at a time because we're qu very quickly expanding the amount of people we need to feed. Treat him. Need medical attention for all of our people fast. Okay, now Kimmo's in bed. Okay, okay. Doug's getting more sane quickly. Okay, Kimmo's lung is gonna get patched up soon. Oh, okay, the lung is patched up, but it's probably gonna have a scar. Nah, uh, Doug, before you sleep, finish off the bed. So we have multiple medical beds. Oh, these visitors arrived too late to help. You need to wake up and treat people. We have no more medical supplies left, so we're gonna just, just gonna have to start treating people normally, which sucks. No one's died yet, chat. No one's died. Yes, you can be a cannibal in this game. Alright, we've got a lot more beds for set to medical for now, which is good.
Oof. Yeah, prioritize treating you. At least we have a lot of food. We have a lot of food. Cloth jacket, okay. Kimo's out in the rain in the middle of the night researching. At least we're getting research done. Sosa has an infection? Shit, I didn't set you up yet. Okay, Kimo, go treat Sosa immediately. Sosa might be doomed uh, because Sosa has no medicine, which would be very bad. And these need another week to grow. So unless there's a supplier right now, no, we might not get any medicine. Sosa might be doomed. We're at least closing the wounds. Yeah, she's got a liver infection. What's she got? Starvation. Yeah, someone's got to feed her. We need more people on... We have a decent amount of people on wardening, actually. Um, there. Doug Bot can double as a warden. Okay, Sosa's awake. Stomach... Oh god, stomach infection and liver infection. We might want to just start harvesting that person of organs. Oh god, Boneville has an infection in his head. Ah, oh, Jesus, he's patched up too. We just did a shit job patching him up. Okay. We're doing a bad job taking care of our prisoners. Blood all over the floor in there. They're also in a boiling shack, to be fair. Let's get an air conditioner in there. Actually, nope, can't get an air conditioner in there while they're in there. Or else, uh, the break in the wall would make them try and run away. We might have to put some of them down. Uh, if we're gonna put some down, I'm gonna harvest organs at least. Because, uh, we might need a lung at some point. Uh, actually, right leg. It's just an old gunshot wound. Somehow that shotgun blast to the lung, we managed to pa pa uh, patch up so well that it made a full recovery. So, okay, Sosa is fucked. Sosa is dying of many infections. Uh, so, and Sosa, you're starving too. Uh, okay. Okay. We need a warden. Okay, you're gonna go feed a meal to Sosa. After Sosa is fed, so Sosa is not actively dying immediately or as quickly. Um, operations. All oh, right, we need medicine to harvest as well. Okay. That person just gonna live as long as they can because we can't even take out body parts without or without um, something for an anesthetic. So that person, we're just gonna have her hang on as long as she can and see if she can make it through this. But is she's basically doomed. Uh, we also are gonna need some more graves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have someone dig a bunch of graves ahead of time. We also need to get rid of that body. All right, you're actually, you're really good at melee, but you can also shoot. Um, you know, just stick with melee for now. All right, gonna start digging those graves. Oh, we got Boneville to join us. Uh, Boneville's a priest, and he's our best doctor now. Sweet, you're our only doctor then, because you're an amazing doctor. Well, you know, pretty good. Um, oh, you're really good at art too. That could be useful for keeping people happy. Okay. Priest is an interesting one. But you have an infection, don't you? A head infection. Okay. Boneville may be doomed. I can tell you that right now. Um, it's an untreated infection. Or at least we have no way of treating it. 
So this person might be doomed, but we will do a poll for their name. If we're very lucky, a combat supplier will come by any moment now and we could buy some medical um, supplies. Oh yeah, we also need, um, completely forgot we also need coolers in some of these houses still. Live as, live as long as you can so we can take your organs? Basically. Oh god, Sus is not even getting out of bed. Rough shape. Oh right, colonists need bed. I'll just turn one of these off of medical for now. So he's got somewhere to sleep. At least he's eating. That's good. And he's helping take care of the prisoners. Yeah, you need treatment, so you just gone to bed and you're gonna rest. Not really much we can do. Doug's already back to cooking. Good. Doug's gonna be cooking a lot. And we have some more housing cooling off. It's actually not brutally hot out right now. It's pretty hot, but it's not enough to cause problems unless you're wearing a lot of thick clothing. Speaking of casking, do we have a shirt yet? We have a jacket you can wear. Oh, and we have a shirt here. T-shirt. Wear a jacket over that. There you go. Casking finally has clothing. Oh, and who's our best talker now? Um, casking, you're also our best talker, so you can wear a cowboy skin hat. Is that a... Ca a cobra skin? Cowboy skin hat made of- Cowboy skin. A cowboy hat made out of cobra skin. That's pretty badass. Although apparently it's an awful quality hat. Because whoever made it didn't do a very good job. But whatever. It does increase your social skill, which is useful for recruiting people and for getting good prices on the market. We don't have any slave traders nearby right now to sell. Untreated major infection in the head. At least the wounds have closed. Doug's doing a pretty good job of cooking there. Just non-stop until we have a good stock of food. We need that stockpile. And then whenever Doug's not busy cooking, he can go take care of the prisoners, which is very useful. Atlas is now cleaning up the prison, so they'll be happier and more likely to join us. Sosa's health is actually a lot better now, although, um... They're still made three major untreated infections. Yeesh. I'd like to make a great bow, because we do not have enough long-ranged weapons. I think Sosa's doomed, and Boneville might not survive either. I'm not going to go ahead and name Boneville until, um, until we know if, if Boneville's going to live or not, so that poll might be up for a little while. But who knows, if, if another person joins us before that poll's done, then I can just pick from that list as well for uh, that person's name. Put him out of his misery? No, we don't know if he's gonna die yet. Gotta let them hang on till the last moment. And plus, don't forget they attacked us. Sosa there is a member of the Suicidal Bangers. Oh, are you stressed, Sosa? Yeah, you're a pretty good janitor here, just running around cleaning everything up. We need a janitor, to be fair. Like, there's vomit all over. Don't know how you have not cleaned up all the vomit outside yet. It's been there for weeks. Yeah, clean up this area. There. Perfect. Cleaning that all up. Clean up the prison some more, too. This is gonna be our workshop later, but for now it's a prison. Like, we just have a pistol laying on the floor in the prison, and a shotgun, and Molotovs, and the prisoners are not using it. Okay, Doug, we definitely need to make you a badass fucking longsword. It'll be your Scottish Claymore, because you're a brawler. Uh, so let's get some mining going on that plasteel. Plasteel is the hardest material you can mine for. 
So we're gonna make him a fucking badass longsword. Get him some a personal shield, hopefully, maybe some body armor, a helmet. I'd like to get him completely decked out in personal shield and power armor, and have him go in like a fucking Spartan, who happens to have power armor. Exotic goods trader. <sighs> yeah, Boneville, you really need a doctor. But, um... Where's our talker? Chaos King. Get over there and talk. They might have medicine, but it's very doubtful an exotic goods trader would have medicine. It's not looking like it. Glitter World Medicine. That's the highest quality medicine, but it's really expensive. But we need it. They've only got one. Okay. Hmm. We need a doctor. Boneville is a doctor. Sosa just died. Okay, that makes the decision way easier. Sosa just died. Okay. Who's our next best doctor? Three, 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 three. No one. Okay. Doug, you'll do the honors. Um, actually, no. Chaos King, you're closest. This medicine might be enough to pull you through the entire infection. It's an extreme head infection, but this is glitter world medicine. Even if it's not applied well, it's glitter world. It's good shit. Okay. You're in extreme pain and barely conscious, Boneville. Can't even stand up right now. Yeah, good feed him. Make sure he doesn't starve. Okay. He'll hang on longer. Don't want to name him yet, but make sure you vote. Yeah, Kimo, you'll get a longsword as well. You're both going to go in as basically a tag team with longswords, with uh, plasteel longswords. It's going to be great. Okay. Uh, Chaos Killing Murray here. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna haul Sosa out. I don't want them to sleep next to a corpse, an infected corpse. Don't want to risk them getting diseases. We don't have any personal shields yet, though. Next time we see a combat wire, Oh, bulk goods trader. You can buy medicine at them, but it's usually a horrible price. Oh, God, that's a terrible price. We have nothing to sell to them, either. We need all the medicine we can get right now. We've got some more medicine. I do think Boneville's gonna pull through now. Now, isn't it one of you guys are infected, too? No. But you're missing an arm. Raven's missing an, a goddamn arm. Oh, Plasteel takes forever to mine. Boneville has died because of an infection. Oh, God, it was so close. Brewing is done, though. We'll have beer. Okay, we need to research hospital beds. God damn it, Boneville was so good. We needed a doctor. At least he had good clothing that we can take. Bury him. Shit. Spent all the money we had, too. We need more silver. Is there any more silver on the map we can gather up and sell? A little bit of silver up there. Steel up there, but it's really far. <sighs> Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Dead people over there. When there's skeletons, one day I'll run over there and strip the bodies. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, go in there and take off both of their armor. They'll automatically go put on clothing in the room, but they won't put on armor, which is good, because I just want them to not have armor on so that I can go pick it up and use it if enemies start arriving. Good quality pistol over there. And a shoddy shotgun. It's shoddy in multiple ways. Yeah, we can pour one out for the dead homies. Which means we can also start another growing zone. It also means that everyone's a doctor again. And we're switching this to hops. We're going to start to brewing. I 
and we can get our first brewery in here. Slave Trader is coming through. Too bad that wasn't soon enough where we could sell off our diseased dying ones. We can sell off the ones we have here, and we do not have the money anymore to buy one, which is unfortunate. In fact, there's probably nothing the Slave Trader can do for us. At least we have a little bit of medicine. Yay! We've got some medical beds. We have a 10% chance to recruit Raven, which is not bad, actually. We could sell Plasteel. We do have a lot of it. Let's actually tell this, just so we can check the price at least. Let's tell this to take Plasteel um, as a preferred priority. Chaos King, um... God, you won't wake up right now because you just went to sleep. None of you? Really? Chemo, you're awake. Go move the Plasteel. And uh, you too, buddy. Haul some Plasteel. You can sell Plasteel. It's mainly for weapons and sculpting, but... <clears throat> okay, we can't sell the metal to this person. However, uh, exotic goods will take it, won't they? No, they won't take Plasteel. Bulk goods? Bulk goods will take Plasteel. Uh... It's a lot of Plasteel, but we also have a lot more. It's not a good price, but we've got to do what we've got to do. We need the money. Uh, really? Does that money not count yet? Now it counts, okay. Finish your meal real quick and hit at the slave trader. We have enough to... We do not have enough to buy anyone. Shit. Those are really expensive slaves. Holy shit. Those are way more expensive than normal. I'm not gonna buy more medicine at that garbage price. Did someone else just arrive? We got another bulk goods trader. What are they selling? They're selling Plasteel. Not at a better price than we sold it, though. Could buy steel at a really good price, but we still have a lot to mine. Why not sell the prisoners? Because we need more people to join our colony. We're really short on people. There's nothing we need to buy right now. This will have to do. We need to mine more Plasteel, though. It's important that you always have some money on hand, though, for emergency purchases. Let them know that they can mine again. Chaos King's a good miner. And you need a good miner for Plasteel, especially when you don't have the research of pneumatic picks, which speed things up by 20%, which is quite large. Mm, he won't join yet. We need more wood. Alright, um, turn off Plasteel collection. Just so they know they can put it indoors again. Okay, we've got more Plasteel, good. So on the smithing bench, uh, along with Great Bow, which they haven't made yet, I want them to have a Plasteel uh, longsword made. King will do that because he's our best crafter. You cannot buy alien slaves. We'd actually uh, probably benefit from stockpiling a lot of wood right now. Plus, we need to make a great bow. really prioritize that mining. Well, I guess the hops aren't ready yet anyway. Hops do take a few days. Slave trader is gone. Red Sparrow Lubricants, and they sell slaves. That's creepy. I think it just randomly assigns names. Is Doug gone or dead? In game? I'm pretty sure Doug's fine. Um, yeah, Doug's right here. Doug bought. Do 
we still have defenses in every direction? Not really. Just have that up there and ready. And we might want to start more crops soon, although food is going great. That corn, those corn harvests we are having are just ridiculous. It's great. What's the purple zone? Um, this purple zone? Uh, that's kind of pinky. Um, but these colored zones are all, they just mean that there's a, that is a zone of a thing. Uh, like this purple pinky zone here is, uh, is corn. These are all growing zones. They're not color-coded, by the way. Um, they just have a random color for each zone, no matter what it is. All right. So we want to brew beer on a do until you have X, and then I want to do until you have 500, because we're going to be selling beer. So our selling zone knows that we take beer, right? Uh, no, it's food, beer. Good. Just making sure they know that to stockpile the beer there. Beer doesn't go bad, so it doesn't matter where you keep it. If you could buy a robot in real life, would you? It's a really generic, vague question. I can't answer that. Also, I do very much like Doug's, uh... Doug's... I, I, I guess I wouldn't call it a reference. You know what I mean, chat. Can't wait till those hops are done. People are going to be much happier. They got to finish that wire. Um, I think you're getting a bigger stockpile than the one by the composite station. Um, well, we do have a bigger stockpile. It's right over here. They both are the same stockpile in that they, they store the same things. Okay, good. We moved all the plasteel in. We have more than enough for a longsword. All right, King. Um, get working on that smithing bench. You can get started on the great bow first. That's a higher priority. All right, and King's getting to work on the uh, great bow. That was quick. <laughs> it's one of the fastest things to make is uh, a bow. That's a shoddy quality great bow, which is a shame because it took a lot of wood to make. Okay, make another one. Uh, let's hope for a higher quality one this time. Don't know why you didn't just walk up there and get it. There. Come on, put together a better bow. Shoddy. Put together a better bow. Uh, right, you have hauling as a high priority, don't you? You do. I'm actually going to switch those two around, where crafting is your highest priority, because we have enough people that hauling is not as huge. Uh, in fact... Right, you're also our warden. Hauling in general is just kind of important. But crafting is kind of big for us at the moment. Okay. It's time we start actually selling clothing. What I'm going to do here is have it so every single non-military clothing I natively keep outside here. It does mean it'll decay with time, which is obviously not good. However, uh, however, we can sell it. And we'll be getting a lot of clothing off bodies of people we kill, as well as clothing we make. Actually, what I could just do is ship 
that's about right. It's hard to see through the grass. Perfect. A little bit extra, but whatever. Just let them know they can start doing that. Well, we brewed our first case of beer. They usually have about a beer a day. Don't know if we feed it to the prisoners or not, but Doug's brewing. Nice, nice. Our chance of getting Raven to join us is uh, getting higher. Still have that vote going, by the way, for when they join us. I like rainy thunderstorms much more than dry thunderstorms in this game. Actually, you know what I should do? stockpile uh, right here by the door. Clear all. This is an important one and it is just beer. It's so that they can have beer at breakfast and not have to travel all the way outside for it. Just a tiny little one so you can have enough for the colony right there. And the majority of it stays outside for trading. Pirates want to be siege. Up there, okay. Okay, what's worse, poor or shoddy? That accuracy is actually pretty good. Poor is better than shoddy. All right, Chaos, go grab that bow. Actually, um... Okay, and the pistol you dropped is poor anyway. We do not have that sword done yet, although King's working on it. The long sword takes a long time to make. Okay, who's going to be using the rifle? King, yeah. You're both amazing shots. So you can both wear some armor. And that is all of our... Oh, no, almost all of our armor. Go wear that vest. Okay. They're dropping in supplies. Okay. Well, there's a lot of rocks here that'll make our cover. Rocks are not great cover, but it works. What are the chances of the colony ending here? Uh, you mean dying? Um, it's possible. We could lose this fight hard and die. If it starts going really poorly, I'm going to fall back. Wow, knocked him out. You might actually survive. Um, Kimma, go capture that one early. Shit. King took a shot to the hand. That's gonna hurt your accuracy. Oh, Kimma took a shot. Uh, to the stomach, ow. And another shot. Leg. We're doing a good job of dealing some damage here. Leg shot and a hand shot on King. Ooh. Arrow cuts. Arrow cuts actually do a decent amount of damage. Well, they're assaulting now. So they've given up on besieging. So actually what I'm going to do at this point... Um, I'm going to fall back to my turrets and use my... Use my uh, sandbags for cover, which are much better than rocks. 
because we have enough of a head start that I think that they aren't going to do well. Connor there, who's wounded, has a proper sniper rifle. His lung is fucked, so his aim's not going to be as good because he's breathing heavy, but uh, we can take care of this. Okay, yeah, Doug, uh, you're getting indoors. Whereas everyone with our rifles and everything are getting behind cover, and we do have a turret here to help us for the closer range dudes. Yeah, steel's expendable, people are not. Exactly. So let the I'll let the um, turret take some of the heat. What's that guy using? Frag grenades. He's high, high, high priority. Good. Dead. And they're fleeing. Wow, they didn't even make it back here. Shit. That means I'm not going to kill the guy with the sniper rifle. That's a shame. I was hoping to uh, get the sniper rifle. But it looks like that's not happening. That Connor guy has it. His leg is shot, but are we really going to catch up to him? Probably not. I'll have Doug go hunt him down and just see if he can make it in time. I'll let them keep shooting until they're out of range. Just in case of a lucky headshot. Nope. Out of range? Okay. Well, the armor helped. Um, things could have been a lot worse. We took some wounds, but I feel like we came out on the winning end of that. All oh, right, you're probably getting healed up right now. Ah, uh, Kimmo's hurt. Um, you have no brain wounds, so I want you healed properly. Ah, uh, you're not gonna reach him. Shit, okay. We'll strip the bodies later. I like how many weapons we have stockpiled in with the hostages who are not using them. We've got our beer, our breakfast beer. Although we definitely need to brew more. We just started brewing. You patched up yet? Yeah. You patched up yet? Yeah. You know what? I should just do the cycle. Make sure everyone is closed up. Good. A closed wound can still get infected, although it's less likely. Um, if you if they do a shoddy job patching them up, it's more likely to get infected. We're using some solar power, yes, but we're mostly getting our power from this geothermal generator that's on a steam geyser. We need a lot more wood. That's a lot of wood right there. Kimmo has fully healed. Sweet, we didn't get any infections. Yeah, we went. I always go geopower very, very early. Uh, Kimmo, while you're here, go strip that uh, body so you can haul the, the armor it dropped. Body armor is so important. And we don't have much. We only have 10 bottles of beer so far, which is enough for a colony, really, but not enough to be selling. Sniper has a great idea. Uh, let me catch up. Why not use vomit for power? Well, we do have a lot of that. We have that in abundance. Actually, now that um, we, I know no one's gotten food poisoning in a long time, now that Doug's been cooking. He's the best chef here. Now weather is going to hell. Well, that person healed up. Yep, no injury. Sweet. No one got an infection. that uh, package for gathering. Might as well keep cutting that, just a little bit ahead of time. Oh, fire! They're much better- their AI is way better about putting out fires now, by the way. Where they don't prioritize things really far away anymore. And they're also better about if, uh, if a character starts starving, 
then they will uh, immediately go try and get food, even if they're doing another task, which is very good. You cannot get tomatoes or onions yet. You can, uh, for crops you can grow that are edible immediately, there's potatoes, strawberry, corn, and rice. Right now we're just growing corn for food. We're also growing some herbal medicine, which will be ready in two and a half days. It'll be our first batch. And we're also growing hops, which are ready every two or so days. And we use the hops for beer. And we use the beer to keep morale up. We'll probably need a bigger hops field, though, because it requires a lot of hops to make beer. It'd be awesome if you could make a lightning rod and use it for power. Yeah, corn and rice were added yesterday, and beer does not sell for much at all. You can only sell it to bulk food traders, unfortunately, or bulk good traders. Um, it's weird that beer is worth so little. Raven is sick from the plague. That is just a random sickness you can get. Well, uh, how's our medical supplies? Not much. Cool, cool. Raven's becoming quite the drain on resources. Just gotta make sure it's treated. And you'll be fine with the plague. No, herbs get converted into herbal medicine. It's the weakest medicine, but it still works. Also, with this update, you can now use herbal medicine for an anesthetic for when you do an operation, which is really nice. We do not have a slave trader nearby to sell Raven. Also, I would rather have Raven live, because we might be able to get Raven on our team. Really? Another negative one? Another group of people besieging. Holy shit. We get besieging people so often. Okay. Rifle people, go armor up. Okay, back to this rock formation again. Shit, they're actually going to have some cover ready this time. Oh, that sucks. They've already got a sniper on us. Okay. Hmm, this sucks. Oh. Are they charging us? Wow, they're fast. Slowpoke my ass. Really? Are they going for melee? Oh no, that person's fleeing now because we shot him. Really? Are you really going to go in for melee with Doug? Okay, because Kimma's going to back him up. Yeah, you're running. Yeah, we're fucking them up. Colonist needs treatment. Uh, it's just a bruise from a fist. That's not so bad. What do you have? Torso gunshot. Eh. Really want to kill one of their snipers here. I don't know if we can even reach their snipers. At this range. Uh, looks like we can actually, and he's got no cover, so yeah, aim for him if you can. Oh, he's fleeing. He got spooked by the shot landing near him. That was enough to scare him. Wow. That's lucky, actually. However, I won't get his sniper rifle, because he'll get away. No way we can chase him down right now. They're not even fighting back right now. Oh yeah, I killed that one. Wow, really? Uh, we can actually advance and use their cover now. <laughs> Poor mood. This is, uh, kind of pathetic, I've got to say. That was the shittiest raid. Alright, Doug. We got another person to capture. That was shit raid. Um, go strip that guy and uh, take his armor. 
terrible mood. I hope you don't break. And I hope if you do break that you just binge on alcohol. You are really fucked up. We need to fix you. Oh, Kimo's starving. Yeah, eat. And now you're fed. All right, we can go around dropping armor again. Whoa, whoa, that was a glitch. There, perfect. Why are we using bows? Uh, because we don't have very many good ranged weapons, so we made a great bow for one of our people. Uh, is it possible to negotiate to a group of pirates attacking you? Not pirate groups, no. Pirate bands will always hate you. But um, other colonists or tribes that are aggressive towards you, you can sometimes give donations to and uh, convince them to um, stop attacking you. Or even to ally with you. Okay, well, we're using up all the rest of our medical supplies here. Yeah. King's gonna go gather stuff. Yep, bodies. Oh, Raven joined us. You're good at cooking. Almost as good as Doug. All right, well, you're also allowed to cook then. Ugh. You can do cooking and construction. And we need beds. Uh, so we're just gonna toggle one of those again for now. All right, uh, before we end, I think I'm actually gonna end the stream very shortly. Before we end, uh, let's name this person. So we've had that poll going forever, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. I thought you were on uh, mobile and you couldn't vote now. It's, uh, it's Dinosaur. Now there's not much of this name that I can actually fit. So I think I might just go with Dinosaur. Uh, yeah, there's not much of that I can fit. Can I fit mud on my dinosaur? Nah, mud dinosaur? I can fit that. Okay. All right. How long have I been going? Let me check. Three hours and 15 minutes. Not bad. And let's save stream. All right, thank you everybody for watching this stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed the last three hours and 15 minutes. This whole thing will be uploaded to YouTube um, over the course of the next few days. And the next time I'm streaming RimWorld, probably either this weekend or Tuesday. So if you're watching this on Hitbox, check out the description to see my YouTube channel. I've been doing a video a day for about four years. If you're on YouTube, check out the description to find both the playlist to this whole RimWorld series, as well as... Um, as well as the link to my Hitbox stream where you can catch this live next time, join in the colony. And if you're on either one of them, you can check out the description to find the link to my Patreon page if you'd like to support me and what I do and get some rewards in return. Until next time, have a nice day.